Woo, good afternoon, folks. Hey, welcome back to the channel. We up here in Chattahoochee, Florida, fishing Apalachicola River this evening. Uh, I've got an event tomorrow, uh, Fish Fest over in Carryville that the University of Florida IFAS, the Ag Extension Office, is putting on. And we're going to try to catch them some fish to put in the tank. Um, they partnered with us last year, bought us a tank, uh, the, the big tank that we haul to a lot of our events and shows. They bought us one and they bought themselves one as well. Um, they're gonna set theirs up tomorrow, but we gotta catch some fish. So I got the sea art going. I do got the front part of the enclosure up because it has been raining all day. It's supposed to rain all night. We're gonna go out and see if we can catch us a few skipjacks and uh, hopefully a few catfish. So hey, hey y'all don't go nowhere. Well, it has been disastrous so far. <clears throat> it has flooded on me for the last three hours, four hours now. Um, I did catch just a few skipjacks over here in the lock um, <coughs> just after dark. So I'm just now starting to fish. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm, uh, I got my first four rods or so right here. I'm soaking wet. So I'm gonna change clothes in a minute, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get a couple of, <coughs> go ahead and get these first few rods out. Um, what I'm what I'm at is there's there's no current up here. Water's low. Um, there's there's they're dropping no water, so I'm I'm kind of uh, I'm double anchored out kind of in front of the the lock. I marked a few fish in here, so it's uh, best I've seen so far. I hadn't really went looking for any catfish spots yet, but I, but I seen these few fish up here while I skip jack fishing. So give me a few minutes to get situated and. We'll uh, go from there.
literally right where my rod just hit and splashed right there. Oh. Did you know it just blew up the top of the wood? As big as it was, it may not have looked at me. I'm just sturgeon. Was our first bite of the night. So we can actually, a gar will actually be pretty good because
We can take this car to Be for. All right, well, I just got changed. I got my, uh, my SmackDown shirt was soaking wet, but I've got my original Size Matters fishing shirt. If you guys are interested in a Size Matters fishing shirt, you can order them at www.apexpredatoroutfitters.com. When you go to check out, use the promo code SIZE MATTERS, all caps, no spaces. SIZE MATTERS, all caps, no spaces. Save you a little percentage, and we'll get a little, a little uh, kickback off of it, too. Uh, Apex Predator Outfitters is a veteran-owned business from a good buddy, Jeff Frazier. Uh, you won't be disappointed with the shirts, but uh, yeah, y'all go buy one. Hey, support what we do. blood just enough to cut my finger don't want me to go old school on you oh yes no We set up now, well, not we, I. I, uh, I moved from the spot up closer to the dam. Now I'm back down, kind of out here in the middle. I bunch, marked a bunch of fish down in a hole over here, right out in the middle of the river. This whole stack of fish today. So I just put six fresh baits out turn the camera on so but once again where i'm fishing at not the only way that you can fish it is to double anchor it to get everything to do and happen the way you want it to but it takes a lot of work to kind of get set up especially when you're by yourself but it usually pays off actually not far off i am in deeper water though i'm in my boat's sitting in about 10 foot my rods are actually in about 20 foot most of them 
I need a big one. Get a 50 pounder right here and I'll go home. Catch a dog, man. Catch a dog. Boy, Turn the light on. My apologies, folks. Messed up a little bit. Look at that mouth right there on him. Get him. That mouth kind of messed up there. We just had a little bit of an accident. I was going around one of these bridge pilings and I I went through this spot a hundred times in my life and I thought there was enough water that I could get around the side of some rocks and I didn't and I was, luckily I was just idling but I I hit my motor bottomed out on a on a big boulder and I can't tell how much damage I did. I don't think I did no damage. Hopefully I didn't do any damage to the bottom of the boat. 
but I teeter tied it on it with the motor pretty good. I, I, I know I ruined the prop. Uh, I can see it's all broke up. Good thing is I'm, I'm right by the boat ramp, so I'm on. I dropped anchor right here after it happened and checked everything out and threw the rods out. And I'm gonna fish a few more minutes here and then I'm gonna go take it to the hill and check the damage. So hopefully, fingers crossed that it ain't too bad, but definitely gonna have to get a new prop. So everybody knows a good, good prop for a Yamaha two stroke or a four stroke 200. Guess I'm in the market for one.
No better fish. That was a tough one. It was a rough night. I caught fish. Uh, caught a few catfish, one decent catfish. Caught a handful of gar. But uh, ultimately, we were trying to catch our fish for the fish fest over uh, in Carryville. And uh, the big fish I had, it, it come out of deep water and it, it was it was struggling as soon as I as soon as I caught it, it was struggling just uh, a swim bladder in it. I tried to burp it and I couldn't ever get it to burp. Uh, you know, I, I think the fish will be all right, but he, he wasn't gonna be all right. He wasn't gonna travel an hour in a live well, so. Ended up going ahead and just releasing the fish that I had uh, after, after putting the boat on the rocks. Don't know just how bad it is, but I eat the foot up a little bit, so we'll see. But anyways, we went out tonight. We tried. Uh, we did catch a few fish. So look, I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate everybody that subscribed to the channel. And hey, y'all keep tuning in. And we'll keep getting after them. See y'all.